Hi guys, Alex Peak Performance Reviews. Welcome to another vlog. I am here at the beautiful Oakley Hall in Berkshire. I think that's right. Basingstoke even. I get it right. And I am here with the new Mini Cooper JCW, which is basically the John Cooper Works um, Mini. It's the brand new one, brand new iteration. It comes equipped with a BMW, basically the, the new BMW 135i motor in that little thing. 306 horsepower, all wheel drive. This is meant to be a bit of a rocket ship. Steph ABTV and uh, Petrol Ped, thank you, sirs. I've done my research and uh, yeah, really, really looking forward to the drive. Cannot wait. Um, epic it's a clubman um so not conventionally the kind of thing that um i like personally myself but if you want something with more boot and space with them double hinged doors happy days um and it, to be fair it looks epic let's um show you around the car and then i'll go for a drive cannot wait a all-wheel drive 306 horsepower all four transmission some big ass calipers and brakes which again, that's what you need, that's what you need. And actually, do you know what? It looks to the business. Um, obviously extended um, platform, big uh, extra long wheelbase um, over the other um, minis. Lovely uh, big boot, double hinge door. Let's give it an open and see what these are like. And it's got a huge booty. And uh, I think Steph, ABTV proved that he got in there. I could get, you could probably get two or three of me in there actually, as you, if you see my size. Actually, but it feels, everything feels really, it's on the matics. And that's why it don't shut, unless you give it a slam, which is good, because it feels quality. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice bit of kit. And I'm hopefully getting on the press media list for um, Mini anyway, as we're kind of slowly getting bigger and better as a channel. The interior is gorgeous actually on this, really, really nice. Let us know your thoughts. Um, lovely kind of figure hugging seats, nice little touches, things like the, because uh, obviously this is a uh, Mini Cooper Works, that's the King Dingaling, top flagship model. It's got Harman Kardon um, stereo, some lovely little bits, nice little st styling cues and touches as well. But yeah, most importantly, more than anything, Let's go and drive it and see what it is like. Like with these um, minis is the Union Jack lights. That's the all important badge as well. But yeah, it's a lovely little um, styling cues and uh, fun things. Nice little kind of split, extended splitter there, which is really looking really, really good. Yeah, looks a business, looks nice adjustment so there's not many cars that have manual adjustment there's a lot of electric cars or electric adjustment out there these days but this is a manual adjustment um automatic gearbox it's got the um similar um to what you get in the um again the bmws um obviously as it is a bmw mini these days so um yeah zf uh, gearbox i believe it's an eight speed i'll correct you if i am wrong the other awesome things about this car is actually the price. It's not too bad. 306 horsepower. Yes, it is a what looks like a small mini, but it's it's twenty nine thousand pounds on the road. Um, obviously, if you spec them up, they can go or get to about um, kind of thirty four thousand uh, pound range. But at the end of the day, what you've got to remember is anything in and around 306 horsepower, like things like a Golf R, etc. When you put anything on that, you're looking at a forty thousand pound car or a thirty eight thousand pound car. Easy. So. This, by standards, could be a bit of a hidden gem, and more so because, again, BMW M135i motor in an all-wheel drive platform with mini hand hand handling characteristics could be pretty good. Let's watch on and see what I think. I'm hoping it's going to be good. I'm hopeful it's going to be good, and uh, really, really looking forward to it. Can't wait. The most important thing for me today to show you is the, not this um, key, but obviously that um, I think goes any way you like and it's still a normal start stop. But I'm gonna start this up. Oh, that looks good. I like that. So still analog all in here, digital in here. And uh, yeah, it's gorgeous actually. Um, all kind of LED light bars and things like that. Like I say, really, really nice um, interior. Very quirky very different um but different in a good way it's 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 gorgeous looking i must admit it's lovely really nice little interior everything feels um premium 
Uh, it feels nice and quality, nice and chunky and quality in your hand. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. It's uh, um, first impressions are good. New minis, um, there's these toggle switches which give you most of the things that you need. Um, and uh, yeah, there's obviously traction control. Um, we're gonna we're gonna probably leave it on actually um, initially. And you've got a button to go, um, and then it comes up here. You toggle it up or down, simple as that. And you've got green, obviously as you'd imagine, nice and nice and kind of frugal. And then you've got and it changes everything like that. Nice touch screen, really reactive system as well, which is nice. And again, I'm not gonna play around with it too much, but I'm gonna change the green mode into mid. Let's change it there and change it into sport. Everything goes red on the dials across there. And I am gonna leave it in sport, but I'm gonna leave the traction control on. Let's go and drive this car. Now to change stuff uh, on here, you can also, um, you've almost got like a BMW iDrive unit down here and it's so quick um, and responsive actually. That's what I, what I like about it. Um, it's actually really quite simple as well. You've even got like say back and things like that on here, which is lovely because you can bring itself back to um, a simple uh, home screen, which is great as well. And it's all touchscreen and it's really intuitive and lovely. And I do like it, um, it looks good. And there's so many things you can do with it, which is pretty awesome. So yeah. It has got to be one of the sharpest reverse cameras I've ever seen in my life. Um, with sensors all around as well. This, like I say, it's gorgeous interior. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, love it. Can change, mess around with all the interior lighting as well and the colors, which is brilliant. Before I carry on, I'm gonna show you this uh, lovely heads up display and it's really, really clear and concise and lovely. And it's, uh, yeah, nice. I like things like this. That does sound nice. Lovely overrun, lovely pops and cracks. Probably part of the other reason why it does really, really grip. It's got Pilot Super Sports on it. So, spared no expense, straight out of the factory. Love that. Um, these are a... 18 inch alloy out the factory. A little bit dirty, but what do you think? Do you like the look of it, guys? Love it. All the uh, vents and radiators and intercoolers are all exposed and lovely. Looking good. Guys, that is basically towards the end of my drive. I just want to give you a bit of basic summarization of the car. 306 horsepower, all wheel drive, loads and loads of torque, silky smooth, beautiful motor. Uh, a gearbox that works really, really well. When left alone, in all fairness, put your foot down, grip, go, quality interior, really, really nice car. Dynamically, when you push it, that's when the chassis comes into play and when the chassis really, really sings. And I must admit, at first I weren't sure, um, but I was excited about the whole car and driving it dynamically, there's nothing that's been taken away from this car. And it really, really is a true JCW and it's worthy of that badge right there an absolutely weapon of a car mini have um uh, have basically made and i can't wait for the gp um the new gp, GP to come out obviously patrick Pedd has got an order in the um for the new gp hopefully we're gonna get, a, get, get an invite to the launch as well um, if this is anything to go by that gp is going to be off the chain and off the charts um, this is absolutely awesome it just is such an accomplished accomplished hot hatch 60 in sub five seconds 4.9 seconds to me it felt a little bit quicker um, just it just takes everything you throw at it and the chassis is beautiful and it backs it up with quality in the interior um, if you're in the market for one of these um, links in the bio to where you need to go um, and whatnot um, love the drive happy Alex thanks for watching guys as always like share comment subscribe see you in the next one bye for now